Welcome back to sunny Skegness Raceway here on UK Open Championship Day for the Brisker Formula One stock cars. We've already seen three lively qualifying heats, certainly a crazy finish to heat two. The highlights, we now get ready for the fourth and final heat. The driver's looking for points to get onto the grid for the UK Open. 17 cars out there. The UK Open incidentally starts in graded order, but with no gaps between the grades. The uh, top 28 qualifiers will be out there for it. Let's have a look who's out there for heats uh, number four then. Ryan Harrison's on the grid for this one. Junior Wayman, Luke Davidson, Catherine Harris is out there as well. Ben Riley will be one to watch in 4-2-2. 4-22, Ashley Wareham on pole alongside 595 Jack Ryan. They get underway then over 16 laps. The last chance for these drivers to get qualifying points on the board. Phoebe Wayman out there in 2.11 with no uh, aerofoil. Got some damage in that tangle with Kyle Gray earlier on. She gets some bumper from Michael Stewart. I think Luke Davidson had something to do with that as well. The hill starts as one of the favourites here. Davidson so fast around the Skegness Oval as is Ryan Harrison, number 197. 22. So ben Riley attacking Eddie Collins in the 147. Jack Ryan off the curb there on the inside as he bounces off Jordan Folding. Catherine Harris in there too as they fight their way around for the lead. Catherine Harris up the inside attacks Jack Ryan. Ashley Wareham goes way wide there coming out of turn two. She's going to lose the lead. Harris to the inside attacking the 595. I think 595 Jack Ryan might have damaged his steering there in that uh, hit on the kerb on turn three. Harris takes the lead. Coming through for second is Jordan Folding in the 36. Ryan Harrison already well on the move further back, as is Davidson. They, of course, revolve in that Shamozzle at the end of heat two. Ryan Harrison taking the win, looking for win number two here. Trying to get him to all important top places in the points charts. Points don't decide the grid, as we mentioned, for the UK Open. It is uh, graded order start for the qualifiers, but with no gaps between the grades. That should make things a bit more interesting in the early laps of the UK Open. 197 Ryan Harrison takes Luke Davidson and we've got a car off there on the inside of turn three that's John O'Brien number 86 stuck there he must have hit the fence coming out of turn two and spun Frankie Wayman junior junior triple five it's target for Ryan Harrison in 197 they go wide into turn three with that car stranded there on the inside still your leader is Catherine Harris in number eight Ben Riley I think he's up in the second now in the 422. Third is Eddie Collins, 147. Then it's Ted Wayman in fourth. Then Harrison and Davidson. But the yellow flags have come out, not surprisingly, with John O'Brien across the end of the back straight there. So the yellow's out to allow the officials to move that car. Big thanks must go to all the volunteer marshals and other officials. Couldn't go racing without them. The medical staff, recovery crews, and so on as well tractor coming out to remove the 86 of John O'Brien, newcomer to Brisker F1 this year. Just couldn't get the car started there. Driver is OK, getting ready for the restart. Number eight, Catherine Harris with the lead. Then it's Ben Riley, Eddie Collins, little Ted Wayman, Ryan Harrison in fifth, then it's Luke Davidson sixth, Junior Wayman is seventh. Jack Ryan led the... Uh, start of the race is eighth, then Jordan Folding and Ashley Wareham, who led the first couple of laps, is in tenth. Just ahead of Phoebe Wayman, Harry Gooding and the rest of them. 295 of Louis Goodwin at the back. Keeping it steady down into turns three and four under the yellows. Got to decide the exact moment to put your foot down. Catherine Harris does so and away they go. Jordan Folding up on the curb there on the inside of turns three and four. His father Peter four-time world champion. Luke Davidson gets some bumper from Junior Wayman, moves up the inside. Luke Davidson uh, a little bit off the boil this weekend compared to his usual Skegness war, maybe some car problems. Goes halfway, it's Harris from Riley. Ryan Harrison third, Eddie Collins fourth. Then Junior Wayman, Junior, Junior Wayman, I should say, trying to get round the outside. Junior Wayman is sixth, if you follow. Catherine Harris under fire now from Ben Riley. Second half of this heat number four. Ryan Harrison's up there in third. Eddie Collins gets launched by little Ted Wayman. In between the two Waynemans now. Ryan Harrison has been able to break as a result of that to attack the leaders. He's having a go at Ben Riley. Alongside the 4 2 2. Ben Riley not quite able to get the bumper in on Catherine Harris, and he is now down to third place. Riley now attacks Ryan Harrison. Was he waiting for Ryan to come through so he could uh, try and attack him? 
tactics, if so, from Ben Riley. Triple five is now closed up as well. Little Ted Wayman. Now Ryan Harrison ready to attack Catherine Harris for the lead of this race. He wants a double heat win. Making the favourite going into the UK Open. He's already won the British here at Skegness, of course, this year. Catherine Harris just uh, flicked a little bit sideways there. Tries again into turn four, Ryan Harrison. This time he's going through there side by side. He'll have the inside for turn one. Through goes the 197. Meantime, little Ted Wayman is up into third place in the triple five ahead of the 4-2-2 of Ben Riley. These four have broken away from the rest of the field. Junior Wayman in 5-1-5 in fifth place. Still uh, locking the wheels a little as he breaks for the turns. Can't get the uh, setup quite right. And bounce back in future meetings, I'm sure. Into the last lap we go. Triple five on the back of the eight of Catherine Harris. It's going to be a win for Ryan Harrison. They lap for Louis Goodwin there in 2 9 5 to the final turn. Triple five of Lynn Ted gets the bumper in on Catherine Harris to snatch second on the line, but it is a win for Ryan Harrison. Looks like Ben Riley came over in fourth place. Ryan Harrison, a double heat win today. Put him firmly on top of the qualifying points for the UK Open Championship. He will start as the favourite for honours. But with the graded order starts, anything can happen in the 20 lap. UK Open, Ryan Harrison the winner by three quarters of a second ahead of Frankie JJ, little Ted Wayman snatching second from Catherine Harris on the last bend, Ben Riley fourth ahead of Junior Wayman, then Luke Davidson in sixth, Eddie Collins seventh, Jordan Folding in eighth ahead of Jack Ryan and Michael Stewart. Now time for the main events, cars on track, 28 of them for the UK Open Championship Start in graded order. No gaps between the grades, though, this time by the look of it. They start to sort themselves out. Jack Ryan on pole. Hannah Chappell alongside. This is going to be a good one. 20 laps. It's all right, we will take the UK over. Seen some unusual winners in this title race in the past. A couple of white graders have won it over the years. Favourite Brian Harrison towards the back along with the world champion Tom Harris. Could Catherine Harris win her first title in this race? Let's find out. 20 laps, 28 cars were underway with the UK Open Championship. Ready cars being pushed wide there on turns three and four. Possibly one or two won't make the start line here. They're all getting round the first turn OK. Hoping Sergeant to the inside there in 526. Earlier heat winner, he's pulled up. Harris already pushing on the back of trail great Jack Ryan who leads the first lap in 5.95. Catherine Harris up in the second. Hannah Chappell is third. Ryan Harrison's already making waves through the field. Sean Webster coming through the leading blue top in 48 ahead of Paul Carter. The first two have broken away slightly. Jack Ryan gets some bumper from Catherine Harris. It's his rear wheel. Gets up the inside and through goes Harris into the lead. Catherine has certainly overshadowed her brother Lewis Evans. Gets spun out there by Casey Engelston. The 392 facing the wrong way. Had a happy weekend, Lewis Evans. Trying to get out of the way there. Puts it into reverse and does so. so Catherine Harris leads from Sean Webster. Lewis Evans stuck against the wall there. Tom Harris side by side with Kyle Gray. He's won this title in the past as well. His first season at Bristol F1. Right the bumper in there, Paul Carter, as Ryan Harrison continues his move up the field. Jack Ryan still holding third behind Harris and Webster, Sean Webster moving for the inside here into turn one, Catherine Harris tries to move across on him, great battle between these two, Ben Riley's there in fourth place, Sean Webster up the inside takes the lead, he's gone wide, did uh, Catherine get the bumper in there, I think she did, Jack Ryan still hanging on to third place, now Webster will try again into turn one, a terrific fight between these two, Ryan is third, then Riley, Ryan Harrison and Carl Hawkins, Jack Ryan gets sent wide as here comes Webster again on the inside, this time he's got through, Catherine Harris is not finished yet. Such a tenacious young race that she is. With Sean Webster in 48 who leads the way. Three wide further back. Junior Wayman, Paul Carter, Jack Ryan, Kyle Gray in there as well. Ryan Harrison now up into third position. Fourth is Ben Riley. Fifth, Carl Hawkins. And here comes Tom Harris. Doesn't want his sister to get all the glory here. She's had such a great run here today at the Skegness Raceway, a heat win, still in contention for the UK Open title, it's this man, 48, Sean Webster, Adam Sheffield, who leads the way, he's 
run the UK Open in the saloon stock cars in the past as well. He's been world champion in the saloons on a couple of occasions. Now looking for, I think it's his first major title in Brisker F1. Ryan Harrison having a look for second place. They're into the back marker traffic now as we get past halfway. Bumper goes in from Ryan Harrison on Catherine Harris. Is he going to spin her out? No, she saves it. Only loses one place. Well, now there'll be two because a sibling rivalry breaks out. Through comes Tom. Up into third. They're lapping uh, tail ender Ashley Wareham there. So Ryan Harrison up to second. Tom Harris is third, but Sean Webster has broken away. It's looking good for the Blue Raider here to take the UK Open. Can he hold off these two though? Ryan Harrison and Tom Harris, the British and world champions. Catherine Harris still four. Eden has lapped Russell Cooper in 4 1 5. Trying to keep her back markers perhaps between himself and the second race. Ben Riley closing on Catherine Harris now for four points. Behind them, it's Carl Hawkins. There goes the leader lapping Mark Wareham. Bring the final five laps now. And Ryan Harrison and Tom Harris move up on Sean Webster. Or has he got the gap he needs? That boards are out. The UK Open Championship. Here comes Tom Harris. This is exactly what Sean Webster wants. Harris and Harrison battling each other. And they do battle each other. The further behind him they'll fall. Harris at the inside takes second place. Has he left it too late to catch Sean Webster? Ryan Harrison fights back. Gets the bumper in on turns one and two. Back at the inside. So this is exactly what Sean Webster wants so he can break away. And still not getting past the back markers either. Three laps to go for Sean Webster. Side by side still for second. Seems this year that the uh, Reds and Superstars, the big names from the back, are too busy fighting each other often to catch the race leaders. Mark Wareham's getting involved in this as well, the back mark. Ryan Harrison determined to take Tom Harris for second place. But they're well behind Sean Webster. Won the UK Open in saloon stock cars. He's going to win it in Brisker F1 as well. Into the final lap we go. Peter Nee slowing there in number 90. But it matters not for the clear race leader. Still the scrap goes on between Harris and Harrison for second. But it's going to be the man from South Yorkshire, Sean Webster. Round the final turn he comes. And Sean Webster is UK Open champion. Congratulations to him. Second will go to Tom Harris. He beats Ryan Harrison in their battle for second. Ben Riley came over in fourth place to confirm the rest of the places shortly. Looks like Catherine Harris and Catherine Harris did come in in the top ten, having led in the early part of that race. Well done, Sean Webster. Well done, Harrison. Harrison for their battle for second. Red flags come out on the UK Open for 2021 here at the Skegness Raceway. Sean Webster takes the win that makes him possibly the first man to win it in saloons and f1 he beats tom harris by one and three quarters seconds he comes out on top in his battle with ryan harrison for second place ben riley fourth ahead of junior wayman then carl hawkins sixth home ahead of matt newson catherine harris the early leader comes in a fine eighth then bobby griffin and little ted wayman round out the top ten so winner of the four on the one grand final sean webster in 48 sean uh, an excellent uh, final win there yeah, yeah, brilliant. Um, yeah, what can I say? UK Open champion, so really happy with it, yeah. UK Open champion. Did you ever do that when you was in your saloon days? Yeah, I won that once in saloon, so yeah, it's nice to win the same title in two different formulas. The track's superb, isn't it? Rob, what Rob's done, what do you think? Yeah, he's improving it more and more, isn't he? And everyone can see it, and I think everybody respects it as well, so yeah, it's really good. And you've had some good results of late, you must be happy? Yeah, car's going well. It was going well before obviously lockdown and stuff so we just left the car as it were um, and then we've had a few meetings this year just to get back into things and uh, yeah it's picking up now congratulations uk open a champion sean webster well done cheers thank you final race of the weekend then the grand national sean webster going from the lap handicap tom harris i thought was for a second there as well making his way around to the back of the grid 23 cars out there for this one Probably normally expect more for a Skegness Grand National, but uh, a lot of the drivers and most of the crowd have uh, disappeared to watch a certain football match. Tom and Catherine Harris are back out there, though. Finn Sargent. Kyle Gray is there. Eddie Collins. There is Greg Raiders. Uh, Luke Davidson's in there. Bobby Griffin, Matt Newson, Junior Wayman as well. Here we go. 
in the last race of the weekend. 23 cars for the F1 Grand National. Catherine Harris already getting the bumper in there. Adam Bamford, the uh, number 43. Our early pace setter is Ashley Wareham in the 492. Simon Binder up there in second. Catherine Harris on their tails. Straight down the inside, takes Simon Binder. Ashley Wareham's got crossed up on the outside. She clips the wall. Catherine Harris will take the lead. Here's the red and superstar back. Luke Davidson, Bobby Griffin, Tom Harris, Junior Wayman and Matt Newson. Somebody pulling off to the inside. I think that was one of the Evans twins. Fantastic battle here in the early stages between the superstars and the Reds were back. It's Tyron Evans who pulled off last time around. Bumpers going in from Tom Harris there. They're going to be five, six wide coming out of turn two. Goodness gracious. Matt Newson lost out there. Wallop into the fence goes Junior Wayman. Oh dear falling over each other towards the back of the pack. This is why we've seen several low, lower grade winners, as I said earlier this season. The Reds and Superstars all seem to be constantly busy battling each other. Let's go in again there. Josh Smith in 191 getting involved. Here's the blue top, side by side between uh, Ben Riley and... Twin Sargent in there, Carl Hawkins as well. Still your leader is Catherine Harris. Ben Riley under fire from Sargent, so there's Hawkins. Triple five of uh, little Ted Wayman getting involved as well. He's the leading red top, I think. Still your leader is Harris running wide. There's Simon Binder in the 128. Sargent had a superb weekend. Early casualty in the UK Open, though. Coming up towards halfway. Bumpers going in there. Four cars line a stir. They'll be four wide off the turn if they're not careful. I don't know the meaning of the word careful. A lot of the times, Finn Sargent certainly didn't there, taking out Ben Riley, although he had help from Luke Davidson again. Riley gets going. So it's Catherine Harris, Adam Bamford in second, Eddie Collins third, then Mark Wareham. Triple five was in fifth place there, but Carl Hawkins had just come through. Then Luke Davidson, Casey Engelston, Tom Harris, and the rest of them. Finn Sargent in tenth. Wait to see where Sean Webster gets up to from the lap handicap. He needs a yellow flag to help him catch the field. No yellow flags so far in this grand match. Casey Engelston under fire from the number one of Tom Harris. He goes through. Well, Tom has certainly been in uh, Catherine's shadow this weekend, it has to be said. Maybe we'll see them both in superstar grades someday. There is Catherine. I think John O'Brien in the 86. Clear of... Uh, her opposition. There's Adam Bamford still there in second. He's running well. He's had a quiet weekend so far, the 43. Junior Wayman attacking Ben Riley gets through at turn one. Now Hawkins is sent by by Tom Harris. Facing Luke Davidson in the 4-6. And Harris dealing expertly with the back markers here, showing her, her training from mini stocks and V8s. Served her well. Get the lap Josh Smith even in uh, 191. Two laps to go. Three turns one and two. Well, Alan Bamford second. Looks like Kyle Gray third in 124. He's having his best run of the weekend. Ian Johnson running wide there in 347. The novice. The sergeant's up there. With the uh, Sean Webster, who proved his lap handicap. We're on the last lap now. Catherine Harris can take it easy around the final turn. There's nobody near her except for backmarker Josh Smith. And she comes in for her second win of the day. Superb drive, a very measured drive by Catherine. Check the rest of the position shortly. She was well clear of everybody else. It's like Adam Bamford took second. It's a good result for him. The pack comes in over the line. The red flags go out on UK Open weekend for the Brisker F1s here at the Skegness Raceway. We'll check out the results of that. So Grand National, Catherine Harris, the winner by over two and a half seconds ahead of Adam Bamford. Kyle Gray taking a fine third. Then Eddie Collins and little Ted Wayman. Luke Davidson sixth ahead of Tom Harris. Then Mark Wareham, Carl Hawkins and Bobby Griffin completing the top 10. Sean Webster made it up to 13 from the lap handicap. Winner of the Formula 1 Grand National, number 8, uh, Catherine Harris. Two wins in the day and a heat and a Grand National. You must be pleased. 
yeah, very happy, you know. Starting the season off blue, it wasn't the best of luck. Um, so, yeah, I needed this weekend, really, really happy. And just been speaking to a, a legend of the sport, Mr Len Wolfenden, reaping your, singing your praises very highly. Yeah, absolutely, you know. To have someone like that come up to you and congratulate you, you know, it's, it's awesome and giving me a few pointers, so, yeah, it's good. Moving on to the next time, as I say, you can just about getting more track time, get a little bit better each time and hopefully work your way back up the grades. Yeah, definitely. You know, the more I get used to the car and I know, like, what to do to make it better and, yeah, laps is all I needed, really, so really happy. An end of a brilliant weekend. Well done, Catherine, and thank you. Thank you very much. Well, that concludes a superb weekend of racing once again here at the Skegness Raceway. It really has become one of the premier tracks for Brisker Formula One stock cars. Great performances by all the drivers here on this very enjoyable and certainly very sunny weekend. Congratulations must go to Sean Webster, the UK Open champion. That's about all for this programme then. Next, we'll have action from the Brisker Formula 2s here at the Skegness Raceway. But for now, thanks very much for watching and goodbye.